I was in a meeting almost exactly like this about a week ago, and I heard a renowned speaker. His name is Manhaw Shukir. Anybody heard of Manhaw Shukir? <laughs> Amazing speaker. And Manhaw was giving a speech called Toastmasters, What's In It For Me? And it was a, a meeting exactly like it was a demonstration meeting for a brand new club that was being born near downtown Dallas. Toastmasters, what's in it for me? He did a great speech. At the end of his speech, somebody came up to him and said, Manhaw, why don't you call it Toastmasters W-I-I-F-M? He said, what's W-I-I-F-M? They said, that's everyone's favorite radio station. What's W-I-I-F-M? What's in it for me? I was there. I heard it. I stole it. Now it's mine. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about Toastmasters. What's in it for me? I'm going to talk about three different things. I'm going to talk about speaking. I'm going to talk about listening. And I'm going to talk about teamwork. Is that fair? All right. I congratulate you for being here and seeing a brand new club board. I am so excited about that. Let's talk about listening. First, let's talk about speaking. Thank you, young lady. Let's talk about speaking. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that all great speakers were once bad speakers. I resemble that prior remark when I very first started in Toastmasters. I walked into my first Toastmasters meeting. I sat down. I had no idea what to expect. They called me up for a table topic. I thought I was a fairly decent speaker until after that. I stood up there and sweated and awed and ummed. Anybody can relate to that? Yeah. I was nervous as a cat in a room full of rockers. It was a tough deal. But it was only a minute to two minutes, and I lived through it. And then I moved on, and I got my, I did my my icebreaker speech, and I got my competent communicator. And over the last year and a half, I think I've gotten a little bit better at speaking. Eventually, I want to do what Ralph Waldo Emerson said. I want to become, I want to take that bad speaker and turn it into a great speaker. If you have a design on becoming a great speaker, or at least a pretty good speaker, you're in the right place. Because at Toastmasters, that's what we do here. You're in the right place. Let's talk about listening for a second. Anybody know who John Marshall is? John Marshall was the fourth Supreme Court Justice in the United States. And John Marshall, imagine a, a justice, a judge. Who listens better than a judge? Where is listening more important than being a judge? What he said, and I'll paraphrase this, he said, in, inside of communication and, and um, influence, you write that down, Karen? Thank you. <laughs> Whew. Inside of communication and influence, the ability to listen is almost important as the ability to speak. In Toastmasters, we learn some listening skills. Lee is listening to my speech, making some notes on what it is that I'm saying, the way I'm speaking, am I meeting my objectives in my speech? Carrie's up there listening. When I said, um, he wrote, he put a tick mark. That was a demonstration, that last um, so don't write that down. <laughs> he's writing all those things down because he's listening. Listening is such a critical skill, and we practice that here. I believe that listening is probably one of the most important things that you're gonna learn in Toastmasters. If you wanna to learn to listen better, you're in the right place. Because we do that here at Toastmasters. John Wooden, anybody ever heard of John Wooden? One of the winningest basketball coaches in NCAA history. And an amazing leader, one of the greatest leaders that's ever walked the face of the earth. Anybody know who John Maxwell is? Well, John Maxwell was is a contemporary of John Wooden. John Wooden was a is is John was John Maxwell's mentor. And one of the things that John Wooden said, he talked about team. He talked about teamwork. He said, if you want to go somewhere fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with a team. I believe that Toastmasters is a great team. You're creating a team here within this new club. 
You're all gonna to get to know each other better. You're all gonna have each other's backs. And this team is gonna to come together and gel. I wanna tie this all together with a quote. Wow, did that go up fast. With a quote from Mr. Zig Ziglar. Man was designed for accomplishment, engineered for success, and endowed with the seeds of greatness. I believe that that is 100% true. We were designed for accomplishment. We were engineered for success, and we all do have seeds of greatness inside of us. I think one of the critical things out there in the world is, where do you go to have those seeds nurtured and cultivated and taken care of in a way that they bear fruit? We all want our seed of greatness to bear fruit, right? Am I right? Yeah. I think Toastmasters is a great, safe, wonderful environment to make that happen. So again, I congratulate you on being here and being in on the birth of a brand new club. It is so exciting. You're gonna to learn to speak, you're gonna to learn to listen, and you're gonna develop an amazing team here. Adam Toastmasters. Thank you.